Did you ever wake up sober after one night stand and the person you're next to is laying on your arm and they're so ugly you'd rather chew off your arm than risk waking them? That's coyote ugly. What kind of experience did you have? Making this movie it was a good experience. It was hard, but it was really, really fun. You know, it's this lovely love story and a coming of age story. And this, the backdrop of the bar gives it such a fun, wild flavor. I think both men and women will really enjoy it. I'm the original coyote. Just a small town gal trying to make it in the big bad city. I was immediately attracted that it was a story about a young woman who is from a small town who goes to the big city to go for her dreams and is true to herself and achieves that dream. And you rarely see movies that are centered around a woman and women supporting her. I think that's what makes the movie so powerful. I think this was going to attract a lot of women to the movie because of all the character's strengths. I like that my character um, sees the bar as a means to an end. She loves the bar and she keeps coming back because like she's just <laughs> so attached fun. to them exactly <laughs> but at the same time she knows that her dream is to be an attorney and she uses the money from the bar to um, be able to pay for law school so get all the other people off lawsuits from falling up mm. that bar <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's a romantic comedy I think is the best description because I think although it's not so much in the publicity of the film that it's a love story it is a love story and I think a lot of people don't know that and I think that's another reason why it makes a good summer movie because it's nice in August to go sit in the air conditioning and watch a love story did you go to the uh, cardiologist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a few beers, you know, just sort of relaxed. I felt I had to support the film in that sense. Um, I did my part, really, and enjoyed it. We did went to the, the bar, um, different bars, similar bars, to see the reality, actually, and it was really, it was interesting. The movie's actually a little bit exaggerated. What we do, we dance more, and, but we got a lot of ideas from different bars. And the dancing was so much fun, and working with the choreographer, and just, uh, Isabella and I had so many dancings together. It was nice because the choreographer, you know, he set the moves, mm -hmm. but then Bridget would add her character's personality into it, and Isabella would add her character's personality. I'd take it and add my energetic, crazy, character's personality into it. It's very personalized even though it's choreographed. Yeah. He's a great dancer. I mean, he was dancing in the West End in Sunday Fever before they cast him in this. So actually, that's like the third version of the dance. They had to keep telling him, Adam, you can't be that good of a dancer. You can't, you know, when he, his first version of the dance was outrageous. And they were like, okay, you can't look like a professional dancer, you know? I mean, he couldn't be, you know, doing uh, split jetés and things like that and, and backflipping along a bar. One, because it would just hurt too much. So yeah, he looked, had to look like a normal guy, you know, just sort of shaking it and being sort of silly at points, going, Ugh, and then taking the, taking the mickey out of himself. So that's what I did, I think. Well, I'm packing on my game and on my head out west with real women coming with the script and fake press. Any concerns about falling off? Yeah. I actually, I'm wearing high, high, high heel shoes, like four inch high. That was really tough for me to stand in a bar and it was like way high. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they built a special bar so it wasn't as slippery. But the water dance scene, it was slippery. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty dangerous. I didn't really do a lot of the dancing on the bars, but I was nervous about the girls falling off, I'll tell you that. When they're dancing in like three or four inch high heels, that was crazy. <laughs> I stood around them like this gonna catch someone if they fell. Yeah, I actually fell off the bar one day. <laughs> After that, I was really concerned about it. Yeah, it hurts when you fall off that bar, but um, I didn't break anything, so. You can't see it in this poster, but the bar is kind of an L shape, and at the short leg of the L, it doesn't go all the way to the wall. There's like a about a foot space, and I never noticed this space before, so I'm like dancing on the bar, I get to the very end, and whoom, I fell right through the hole. <gasps> it was bad. It's like that thin. It's ridiculous. But there was padding, and, and of course, if you did fall that way, there were all the, all the, um, all the actors to fall on. Do a little body surfing yeah exactly and the fire scene oh so cool Bridget really got to blow the fire and do that whole thing that's that was amazing I like that scene I think it's pretty awesome Isabella is really dancing through the flames and she's got guts she's a great dancer it's very hot I wasn't really like literally like hot I was kind of standing on the side of the bar. I'm not even sure if I'm in the shot or not, but I felt that heat, and she's like crawling through it almost mm -hmm. practically. And I'm like, how can you do that? I was nervous like, about my hair hanging yeah, upside down, yeah. crawling on that eye beam. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But they, they, we had a, we had great security guys. They, they were, they were there with the bottles, yeah. ready, and fire retardants in our hair. Yeah. <laughs>